What's up guys, it's Dynamite Man ZGI here, and welcome back to Nuzlocke Pokemon Blue. In the last part, I pretty much laid out the groundwork, and what do you know, we've already ran into our first Pokemon. Um, didn't even get my intro done. So in the last part, basically what happened was that uh, I laid down the ground rules for... Um, this Nuzlocke challenge and um, took down Gary Oak and in this part uh, I'm gonna get into some of the other mechanics that I forgot to mention last time so um okay number one um, Nuzlocke catching is not gonna start until after I can uh, uh, I can buy Pokeballs otherwise it's just not fair uh, I'll be missing out on Pidgeys and possibly Rattatas uh, and God knows what else so um, for now I'm going to be running and possibly fighting Pokemon along the way. I'm not too sure yet. Um, if I have to, well, no, I can't really, no, I'm not really going to be cutting battles. No, am I? Because it's, it's a Nuzlocke, not a freaking playthrough now, isn't it? So, yeah, and that's one of the things that I'm going to be... Talk, um, not talking about, but like emphasizing on it, so I'm not going to be cutting any battles in this thing, so it's going to be quite a few parts until I'm done. And did he just walk sideways downward? Uh, I suppose. That's what happens. Okay, so, yeah. Let's try to get a little more lighthearted in here, and yeah. Go Donatello! Tackle him. attack. Now, if I end up dying to a Pidgey, that's going to be really freaking sad. But Nuzlocke rules are Nuzlocke rules, and I will do my best to follow that one as much as I can. If I end up getting killed here, it's game over for me. And that's the end of the LP. Wow! So, yeah. Um, I suppose I could talk about myself a little bit more. So I'm a master student in college right now, uh, getting ready actually to do my thesis in September, and I thought I would spend some time this, this summer in between um, my classes doing uh, a couple videos so I can do, you know, um, um, for recording and stuff like that, especially in my free time when there's no one else hanging out here. Um, I'm older. I'm I'm married. I got a I got a daughter, so recording is not going to be like totally frequent or anything. And um, I'm basically just making conversation because I'm assuming that everyone who's watching this has already seen like, oh, how do you get po you know Oaks Parcel and all this other stuff that you, you know Let's Plays talk about. And I'm not really gonna like I said in the last video. I'm not going to be. Um, explaining too much about how the mechanics of this game is going to work because that's just number one. That's you know that's something that Lou Ray can do or whoever. Not that there's anything against them. It's just that I want something new on YouTube and I thought I would take care of it myself. And so yeah. Oh, uh, so yeah. It's pretty late while I'm recording this video right now. It's. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's 11.42 uh, p.m. I'm probably going to be heading to bed after I record a couple of these videos and then um, edit them tomorrow morning at, before I head to class. Yeah, unlike um, all the normal people in the world, I'm actually taking a summer class. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's, you know, I can't really talk about it too much because of the content that it's that's based on it. It's kind of um, private, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. So, Gary over here thinks that we're racing to fill up the Pokedex, and I'm saying, screw you, I'm taking your town map from your sister, and then some. Um, I like to keep this, uh, kind of in, um, in the ballpark of, yes, this is a children's game, so I'm not going to be suggesting nasty things that often, unless it has something to do with Gary being an asshole, because Gary Oak is an asshole. 
So I got the town map. Um, heading back to Viridian City now. So apart from Pokemon games that I like to do, um, that I like to play, I play a lot of, um, you know, I'm more of a Super Nintendo kind of person, to be uh, completely honest. But I, um, I've talked in the past that I like PlayStation games and things like that. It's a little bit about me, I suppose. Um, yeah, so just, um, I don't know, looking back at this game kind of, like, brings back memories and everything. I really like the the feel of this game. It's just, it's just so nostalgic playing it again. Um, yeah, I haven't played this, I haven't played Pokemon Blue in probably ten years, maybe? Yeah, I've played Leaf Green and Fire Red before, not in the past, but that's that's kind of different. And does this smart sell Pokeballs? I know they don't sell, yeah, yes, okay. So I'm going to buy, be buying um, ten Pokeballs right now, um, just to start off, and I'm going to buy um, five Antidotes. And, um, oh no, I can't afford that many. And three Paralyzed Heals right now. Um, I do, yeah, I do believe that Burn Heals, uh, I don't really need Burn Heals uh, at this point in the game because there are very few things that burn you this early in the game. I'm pretty sure anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be really pissed off because I'm not going to be doing annotations in this video or anything. Not like what I've done in the past. You know, where I'm editing like everything like crazy because I said something stupid or something wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm just going to make a fool out of myself this time. So, anyway, I am going to catch my first Pokemon in this grass right here. Oh, called it. And it's a Pidgey! Okay, Donatello. Tackle him. Reduce his HP to about half. Damn it, what did I just tell you? I said half! Okay, that'll do. Okay, now I gotta keep in mind that Gust is not a... Um, is a non or is a normal type attack in this game, and... I have to be careful with that, otherwise I'm going to be so screwed. I'm thinking that it's a, um, you know, a flying attack or something. Okay, so we're going to name Pidgey now. Um, what should we name him? Um, I think I'm going to have some fun with this one. Call Oops. Uh, no, Tubby. Yeah, let's call him Tubby. We're going to have some fun with him this time. We're going to have fun with the names here. Um, I'm not going to be... <coughs> um, I'm not going to be super strict on how many times I visit the Pokemon Center. Um, as this game is a little bit harder than other gens, mainly because the first freaking town in this game doesn't even sell freaking potions. And even later in the game it doesn't sell potions, so that's kind of like a pain in the ass to have to freaking deal with. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna try to, like, limit the amount of times I can visit the Pokemon Center in this playthrough. I might later in other games, but we'll see. And for some strange reason, I always remember where this potion is. Right by that, uh, that cut tree. Okay, so, um, alright, let's catch a Pokemon on this route, on this route, and it's a Nidoran female, okay, Squirtle, um, but it failed, and is that how to do it? Okay, um... Pokeball, go! One, two, three, yeah! Alright. Neither and female is now part of our party. Although small, its venomous barbs render this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. 
Um, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to call you Nina. Why not? So let's see here. What I like to do usually is I like to take the weaker one and put them up front in that order. I'm kind of compulsive that way. Um, no, I'm not OCD or anything. It's just a compulsion that I have to have it that way. Um, if I were OCD, I would, you know, there would be a lot more to it, I'm afraid. Again, to each their own. So we're just healing again, just to be safe. And I th think I'm going to grind a little bit more. Um, an oops. One of my rules, actually, for this, um, for Nuzlocking, is that I try to battle every, um, every trainer in the game. And, um, the Nuzlock is not complete until I do. Uh, it's like, if, even if, ooh, I wish I would have gotten a Spiro. Oh, well. Um, if I've beaten the champion and, um, and I've made it to champion rank, the game is still not over if I've missed a trainer. Uh, that's just how I am, and yeah. I'm gonna switch out here. So, um, I'm really not going to apologize for if, like, my way of training is longer than most people because that's the way I play. So, one of the things that I've always kind of been like I've always wondered about um, about this Spiro sprite here. Uh, look at its wing. Is it waving? What is he doing? It's just it's kind of strange how like its little feather is kind of like hello. Um, I've never really like I, I don't think anyone I I've ever known anyone to talk about um this sprite before. It's kind of strange, but. Yeah, it's something I've always noticed and I've always kind of wondered about. Uh, if you know anything about it, just comment or whatever. I don't really care, but if I don't get an answer, it's, you know, it's one of those mysteries that I'll never find out, and that's okay, too. And Donatello, if you die to the spear, I'm going to be so pissed off at you. Ah, there we go. Freaking Tubby can't fend for himself yet. Probably not going to be able to fend for himself until he learns quick attack. Does he? Okay, let, let's take a look at Tubby here. Um, no, just Gust. Okay, for some strange reason, I thought it. Um, he 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 knew sand attack already. Y yes, uh, Pokemon attacks are learned at different levels in this game for whatever fucking reason because. Nintendo didn't know what it, what they were doing until later with the well. Okay, in all fairness, I think it's because that like there was no such thing as like baby Pokemon back then, and you couldn't like you know have a have a level one um, Tangela or anything because of you know the the way that you encountered uh, Pokemon or, uh, later on in the game. So the the levels are. The rate that they learn moves is different in this gen than most games. Um, I don't hear people talking about that too much, actually. It's kind of strange. Five damage. Wow. Okay, you did a significant amount. I th okay, don't you freaking crawl the shit out of me. It's a terrible thing about Spiro is that he knows that it knows growl and peck this early on. And that was a critical hit. You did ten damage to me. What the hell? Oh, and I gotta crit back. I really do like the fact that critical hits do tend to uh, occur a lot more often. That is unless um, focus energy is used, which reduces the critical hit ratio to zero in this game. Which is, I, that's just fucking hilarious because the, the amount of times that that um, the AI in this game uses focus energy is hilarious. And I'll be sure to point out point it out as much as possible in this uh, playthrough if I can make it that far, and you know, because.